roguelike, and roguelit. The related but distinct subgenres of a game that take inspiration from the classic 1980 game Rogue. Some examples of the, these would be NetHack, Dungeon Crawl, Stone Soup, and Atom. Roguelikes usually follow the classic rogue formula with turn-based gameplay, sometimes, procedural generation, which you guys might be more familiar with, and most importantly, no permanent progression between the runs. Now, roguelit features random levels, permadeath, same as roguelikes, but includes persistent progression elements uh, and often real-time action-focused gameplay. So a good example that you guys probably know, Binding of Isaac, Dead Cells, or Hades. Now, which of these two genres do you think my game is? That's right, neither of them. Weren't expecting that, were you? You see, this game started off like this, then slowly just evolved into this over the last three months. If you watch one of my other devlogs, you'll know how much I originally struggled with the level design and how one of the solutions would have just been to do procedural generation. However, I'm stubborn and I like doing things the better way. So I ended up never having any procedural generation in my game. And to make it worse, my game pretty much relies on progression and running through the story in a somewhat linear path. Though having permadeath is just kind of stupid at this point. Now the issue is, I got so distracted developing my game that I just got hardcore tunnel vision. And now that I was able to take a step back and look at it, I asked myself, wait, what genre is this game? As much as I wanted my game to be a roguelike or even a roguelit, it pretty much breaks all the rules of being one. So that doesn't really fit. But that doesn't mean it, it's too late. To make my game fit that category, it wouldn't be too difficult. I can add some difficulty levels if you choose Hell Mode, then you can just have Permadeath, which is a solution a lot of game developers opt for. Then I can add an Endless Mode once the player completes the story, similar to Diablo. But the question still remains, what genre does my game even fit into? Well, considering my game is heavily inspired by Elden Ring, let's take a look. It's supposed to be a fucking RPG. What role am I playing? The fucking victim? Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, no. This isn't what my game has right now, and I have no idea if I could do this. Entering Dark Fantasy, which is a subgenre of fantasy that blends typical fantasy elements like magic, mythical creatures, alternate worlds, with darker and often more horror-inspired themes. This pretty much seems perfect for what my game has now. And to my surprise, that was Elden Ring. Now at this point though, aside from the genre of my game, what is my game even about? Aside from killing monsters, solving random puzzles, and avoiding traps. Well, you start off in the dungeon, meeting up with a little girl who gives you a quest to find the sword, which is a branded weapon. It's sentient. But you end up wielding the sword, with a small condition. Every time you use its power, it corrupts you bit by bit. At first this sounded like a cool idea, which I still think is pretty neat. It's kind of like Kane getting his own video game. But an obvious problem arose pretty quickly. There's no way to reset the corruption levels. So I made this tree that purifies you. And that's pretty much it. That's all my game has at the moment. I spent the last few weeks grinding uh, pretty much a bit of content and half of it was actually debugging a lot of things. Um, I ended up adding a lot of ways to optimize the game. And yeah, that was pretty much it. If you guys want to try the game, go wishlist my game down below. Uh, it is now on Steam with a trailer coming soon, hopefully by the time this devlog is out. We'll see, but I don't know. Go devlog, go wishlist the game anyways, and I'll see you guys, I don't know, in another month. <laughs>